The idea of a Friendsgiving has taken off in recent years, and today's guest is ready with all the tips to making yours flawless. Janine Fabenware, Chief Mom Officer of the City Moms, is back with us. Janine, I think before we even get started, we need to kind of explain Let's what explain Friendsgiving it. is, because it is kind yeah. of a, a relatively new term. It is. I mean, so Friendsgiving is a Thanksgiving celebration, and typically among just that, your friends. And it's essentially, I, I should say, it's normally a potluck style, but obviously in the past couple of years, it's morphed into, uh, you know, kind of other types of uh, iterations, if you will, but it's a great chance for your friends to get together and enjoy some time, because, you know, friends are the family that you choose. Yes, that is <laughs> So true. And usually I find Friendsgiving isn't necessarily on the official right. holiday. This is something you can do like the weekend before, the, weekend, the weekend after. after. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are your top tips? Because if we want to have a successful Friendsgiving, yep. where do we start? Yeah, so we've got a couple tips I think that we're going to pop up on screen that are definitely some critical ones, but send out invites. This makes it feel like it's a little bit more of a formal event for your friends. So sending out those invites. But one of our biggest tips is assign food courses to your guests. That's going to help avoid some overlap and make sure that everyone's sort of staying in their lane, but everything <laughs> else is covered. We don't want everyone bringing stuffing or everyone bringing exactly. rolls. Yes. And you know, I, I don't know about, about you guys. Our friends are like, I'll bring the salad. I'll bring the salad. And you're like, well, we don't need a, a 10 person, you know, like 10 salads. <laughs> yeah. So that's definitely going to be critical. Um, some other great things, you know, is create a food station. And that's really where you're going to have all of that hot food. So anything that needs to be plugged in, like a crop pot, um, a sterno burner, anything to that effect, you want to have that in a designated food station. And then also create a designated drink station. So we actually have this bar cart here, which works really well to just make that a mobile opportunity at Friendsgiving. Yes. But also another option is to really create one yourself inside um, where everything is laid out. Yes. Okay. And then look at this table. It is set up so beautifully. It's time to bust out the fine china. I mean, enjoy <laughs> because so many of us have lots of fun plates and bakeware and glasses that we might have at home that we're just not using that often. This is the time to do that. So we've got some really fun place settings out here. I mean, this, I love just having kind of this brass type of silverware, one of my favorites. So this is always coming out for us at Friendsgiving. Not and something you use every day. No, it is not. <laughs> no. And then, you know, this is a great time to get out like some of that more beautiful bakeware you might have um, and really have that plated on the table for you as well. So have some fun with it. Yes. Have some fun with the decor. Okay, now that we've taken the pressure off of the host for food, any final um, ideas you want to mention? I mean, really, when it comes to Friendsgiving, another option is um, to be creating a leftover station because that's going to be something really critical. You don't want to be the person that has all of this food at home. Yes. So having a leftover station, we just grab these really fun little containers. Um, everyone can fill one up and take that home with them. But also just really nice way to kind of continue the celebration at home. Yes, and then set the mood, the ambiance, right? <laughs> exactly. Yes, you to always be setting that ambiance. Consider music, consider putting on that fireplace. If you don't have a fireplace at home, there's also obviously that visual that a lot of our smart TVs have <laughs> of that just burning log. So. Yes, and some places it may be warm on Thanksgiving and exactly. too warm for that fire. Well, these are such fun ideas. If people want to learn more, you are such a great resource. You're online, socials. We are. Find us at City Moms and all the social, citymoms.org is our website, and lots of great other holiday tips and tricks coming. Yeah, and they can join. It's like you join this group, and yes. you start networking. Yep, we've got a free membership everyone can join, so yes. Okay, very good. Such great tips to just spice up Thanksgiving with your friends this year. Janine, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, if you want to catch all of the City Moms tips on how to host the best Friendsgiving your friends will be talking about for months, until Thanksgiving next year, I'm sure, we will connect you at ciliving.tv after today.